Okay, welcome to Linux Music. We're putting up a series of really short videos uh, showing that any reasonably intelligent and marginally curious person can use pro-quality audio tools uh, without spending a dime. As always, if the software in your PC doesn't match what's shown in the video, the version uh, you're using is the first thing you'd want to check. Uh, and here's what we're using in the, in the video that follows. Okay, uh, this week we're doing Ardor and the Envata Reverb. Uh, hopefully you saw the previous video or know how to set up some basic things in Ardor. Reverb, uh, I hope you know, is short for reverberation or the sound uh, bouncing off the walls in a room. Often when we record, it's in a clean and uh, pretty sterile environment, and this gives a warmth and a depth to the, to the audio. The thing I like about the Envata Reverb, uh, this one in particular, uh, the Envata Early Reflections Reverb, is that unlike other reverbs, you actually model the room you're in. You get to pick uh, how big the room is, how much uh, carpet is opposed to uh, bouncy surfaces like tile and glass it has. Uh, you get to pick uh, how far the listener is and where their position relative to the sound sources. It's just kind of a novel approach, and it's... Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's cool to play with, uh, as you'll see. Okay, here we go. Uh, Dobro track, hopefully. This all looks familiar. Uh, if not, back up a couple of videos. Got a little EQ here on the uh, Dobro to roll off the bottom end. And then the reverb we're going to talk about, drums. Uh, same thing, a little EQ here, roll off the top end, uh, make some room for the Dobro. And then the uh, Envata Early Reflections Reverb. Notice that the drums are all the way over on the left. They're panned over there. Uh, Dobro's on the right. That's because when we're sitting in my living room, if you're on the couch, uh, Bob tends to be on the left and, I, and I'm on the right. Uh, we're going to try to mirror that here with this Early ref Reflections Reverb. So uh, let's bring that up. Uh, Dobro. And drums. Okay. In this section right here, you're going to set the length, width, and height of the room. Uh, the room's going to be three meters. Uh, the width, let's put it down about six or eight meters. And the height will be nine meters. Uh, we're both playing in the same room, so that'll be the same. Now, this is uh, just a little roll-off, uh, high-pass filter. We're going to roll off the bottom, uh, hopefully make the drums a little less muddy there. This warmth has to do with the uh, material that's in the room. If there's a lot of carpet, uh, things like that, then you'll get uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, frequency absorption, and, and the uh, sound won't bounce as much. Uh, whereas if you have a tile or glass, you get a lot of bounce. And so you, you can set that, you know, down or up appropriately. Uh, my room's pretty average. Same with diffusion. This is uh, how much furniture's in there, bouncing things around. Uh, my living room's pretty average, so we'll leave uh, both the warmth and diffusion on both sides uh, set to about the middle. Uh, like we said, the drums are over on the left. The... Dobro's over on the right, so let's give this a listen. bypass a couple times, turn it off and turn it on, see if you can hear the difference in the drums. Reverb on. 
So I hope you could hear the difference uh, between that as we kick the bypass on the drums. Uh, at least on my speakers, it's uh, it's very apparent. Uh, it's a little a little duller, a little warmer with uh, with the reverb on. Uh, a little sharp and edgy sounding with the reverb off. Uh, hopefully you experience the same thing. So that's it. Uh, the Envata Early Reflections Reverb. Um, model your room, the size of it, uh, the physical characteristics of it. Uh, place your sound source, place yourself, uh, and let it roll. Uh, so have some fun. The uh, Linux Audio uh, community is really, really gracious and helpful. And uh, all these sites have manuals, links, uh, videos, uh, things to help you get started. Uh, we've only just touched on the very, very basic first stuff here. I hope that you'll uh, check out these sites, learn a little bit more, and, and uh, have some fun. See you next time.